So it, it said, uh, from Abel to Zechariah, son of Berechiah, who was killed between the sanctuary and the altar. Well, this has had the effect of completely exploding this really important and potent declaration that Yeshua is making. I mean, this is, this is an absolute condemnation of the leadership of the Judaic church, right? Every generation when God has sent you a prophet, you have killed him, right? From Abel to Zechariah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, now people are thinking, and, and this is the way it's interpreted, you know, in, in, in theological interpretation. Well, well, he's referring to uh, the Zechariah of the Old Testament. See, that's a, those were the last books of the Old Testament. So he's just referring to the Old Testament prophecies, you know. So therefore, we can condemn all the prophecies. All right, so we're free and, <laughs> we're free and clear, yeah. right? That's just like talking about the Old Testament prophecies, the stuff up to 600 years before. Well, that, that, that really cuts the legs out from under his very real and very potent declaration. All the prophets, I mean, after all, Zechariah, the son of John the Baptist, was he a prophet? Mm -hmm. Remember he was struck mute because he questioned Gabriel, the yeah. archangel that was sent to anoint him. And remember, when you're, when you're anointed by an archangel, this is from God. This makes you the high priest of Israel. I'm sorry, it's not determined by humans. It isn't. It's determined by Yehovah. And he sent Gabriel to Zechariah with a special mission, specifically to prepare his son, all right? So he was anointed, which makes him the high priest of Israel. And all these Israelites knew this. They knew this. And they were waiting outside the temple with bated breath. He was supposed to be tending to the incense. You know, it was the, the altar boy, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but they knew who he was. And they were just holding their breath because he was in there for so long they thought he must have died. Had a visitation from God and he keeled over and died, right? Uh, and then he came out and he had obviously had a, had a visitation because when he questioned <clears throat> the words of Gabriel, he struck him mute. You know the story, mm -hmm. right? He said, until all these things come to pass, you will not speak. And that means the birth of, of Yeshua, of Yohanan, rather, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Of John the Baptist. And when it, when he, when it does happen, exactly exactly as Gabriel said it would, all of a sudden his, his tongue was loosened and he prophesied to the people, spoke full of the Spirit and he prophesied to the people. So he is Guess a what prophet. that makes him? He is a prophet. He is very definitely a prophet. Mm -hmm. You know, anointed by the archangel of God and he spoke, he spoke with the, the tongue and the voice mm -hmm. uh, uh, of, Yehonah, of Yehovah and he prophesied, all right? So when Yeshua is talking about all of the prophets from Abel to Zechariah, he is included in those prophets, right? So he's making a really profound statement. You can see mm -hmm. that, right? Up from until then very until now. Yeah, very recent time. I mean, like, recently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the blood is still on the temple floor, right? Yeah. Now, nobody knows this, and it's not mentioned in the Gospels. Because hmm. this was something Herod was trying to avoid taking responsibility for. So no, they did not know what happened to him. But in the Proto-Evangelion of James, it tells the whole story.